All right, Ari Altman here from Tech Buzz Guru at the XPG suite at CES. Technically, this is the A-Data suite, which is the parent company, but XPG is their performance brand, and they are doing some crazy things with this brand. Everything from headsets to 3D printed mice to keyboards, power supplies, cases, of course, SSDs, which is what they're known for. They also have their A-Data RAM kits on display in an absolutely wild case, which I'm going to show you in a minute here. This is a company that is looking to shake things up. This is their XPG Volta case. Take a look at this. Tremendous design. Look at that. The whole chassis slides in. That is kind of out of this world. That's like taking an Apple design and then multiplying it like 10 times. That's awesome. Pretty amazing concept, but they have a lot of standard issue cases as well. This is their uh, battle cruiser case. Then they have uh, their invader case over here, which is a solid panel. So they're trying to get into a lot of markets at once. It's Pretty aggressive, we'll see how it works out for them, but what I'm most interested in is where they made their name, and that's in the PCIe drives. They're releasing a number of Gen 4 drives. Take a look at the data points here off of Crystal Disk Mark. See those numbers? You're not gonna see those numbers from anybody else. 7,200 megabytes per second read and 5,400 write. Everybody else is stuck under 5,000, so they are clearly doing something right with their new SSD. Um, and that specifically is, they've got a number of models here, but specifically I believe it's their Sage. They're showing it as a prototype here. Rated it up to 7,000 reads, 6,100 write. That is really pushing the limits, as they say right here. Pushing the limits of PCIe with Gen 4. They are pushing limits of Gen 4. That is really, really amazing. Those speeds are way beyond what anyone else can do. So they've got some special sauce in their SSDs. Of course, they also have RAM kits. And these are pretty stylish. I actually really like this one. Kind of got the combination of the RGB with kind of this brushed finish. They also have an RGB SSD. I, I have heard from other manufacturers that when you go with a design like this, um, you do uh, lose some of your signaling capacity for your data. So I am not going to be recommending the RGB SSDs at this point. Um, I don't think they're the ideal solution, uh, or, nor the ideal place for RGBs, because often uh, you're going to have these under massive heat sinks. Uh, the heat shields, like on a motherboard like this, you'd have it under that M.2 M drive shield. Now, they do have it displayed here. So on a lot of motherboards, you do have those open slots like here. And that's what they're, that's what they're showcasing here. But my feeling is that data drives aren't the right place for RGB, but they're offering it if you want it. And would you believe they're also selling an all-in-one? Yes, this is their cooler. They're selling it. They're, they're offering 240 millimeter cooler here, a 360 millimeter cooler here power supplies. Like I said, this is pretty aggressive for a company that made its name on SSDs and RAM. Do you want a 24 karat gold plated keyboard? Well, XPG apparently is going to be giving it to you. So lots of excitement here. Um, there are a lot of folks here, guys. You know, XPG and ADATA probably weren't really on the map uh, a couple years ago, but this uh, booth is pretty full and it's because they've got a lot of products. They're being very aggressive. They've been successful in this market, the SSD market, and they're going for, for it all with every other market in the PC industry. So we'll see how they do. This is Ari from TechWise Guru. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I will catch you soon.